31-year-old Jono is head chef at a modern British restaurant in Leeds. I work at a restaurant where we focus mainly on local produce, foraged and fresh ingredients. When you've created something and then they eat it for the first time and then their face light up and you see that, it just gives you an ultimate feeling of like, wow, I did, I did something great today. I think what will give me the extra edge is creativity. If something happens, I can just go with it. I'm confident in my cooking, 100%. Welcome to MasterChef. Yeah. This skills test was set by my friend, Monica. Cool. I would like you to make us a, a beautiful fruit tart with a berry compote and pistachio chantilly candied pistachios. Okay. You worked in pastry? Yeah, definitely, yeah. 20 minutes, off you go. I wonder what the pan's on for. I don't know why he's heating cream up. He doesn't need to. Actually, I don't need that. Oh, then I'll be a cook <laughs> chantilly. <laughs> he doesn't need to roast the pistachio. How much travelling with your cooking, Chef? Yeah, I've travelled the world. I've done uh, been to Copenhagen, Australia. Done quite a few. Do you have a favourite place for food? I'd say Australia. So it looks like he's just added some pistachio paste onto the whipped cream. He needed to soften the pistachio paste first, break it down, then put some cream in. You've had seven minutes, so you've got 13 minutes left. Okay, cool. So you've had a bit of experience in the pastry? A little bit, yeah. I can do a few bits and pieces. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm a pastry chef, but I can make simple desserts, I guess. It's good to be able to do all sections, isn't it? So he's done caramelised pistachio rather than candied. Very, very different taste to what Monica was looking for. Where did you work in Copenhagen? Uh, I worked at Norma. Did you? Yeah. For how long? Uh, for six months. You saw some amazing ingredients, some amazing produce, amazing learning curve, you know. You... If he's worked at Noma, he should be pretty hot on his presentation. You have three minutes, so you've got to start to get it together. All done? All done. You can breathe now, Jono. <sighs> Hello, Jono. Hello, right, Marcus. You made that look pretty easy. I tried, I tried. Good. That looks really nice, Jono. The pistachio chantilly would have been great to have some vanilla through it and more of the pistachio paste. The compote, delicious, with the blackberries. The candy pistachios, I did the crystallised uh, way. These are nice, they've got texture to them. But, you know, this looks lovely. Great attempt here. Can't wait to see what your food's like, Jono. Thank you. First up is 21-year-old Jamar. A junior sous chef at a fine dining Michelin star restaurant in Wiltshire. I consider myself to be a, a very ambitious person. I always want to push myself beyond possible. You know, I really want to get perfection every time. And if it's not perfect, I'm not happy. I would say my strengths would be fish prep and butchery, but my weakness would probably be pastry. I'm hoping that the skills test won't be a pastry challenge. Service, please. Jamar, I would like you to fill it and cook the John Dory. Yeah. Served with a vibrant green parsley puree and garlic cream. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. How does that sound? I've worked with John Dory before. Yeah. Uh, just garlic cream and a little bit unsure. You have 20 minutes. Off you go. So he says he's done John Dory before. Let's see. So, Jamal, what's your plan for your dish? So I'm just going to sweat off some shallots and garlic and uh, make sort of a cream sauce. Uh, it's probably going to wilt off some spinach. I'm going to make the parsley sauce in a minute. Seems good. He's definitely filleted a John Dory before. Tell me why you're scoring it, please. So you get a nice texture on the fish when I cook it. Fish done. Six minutes are gone. Yeah. Any good cooks in the family? My mum used to be a chef, so I've always cooked with her and enjoyed it, really. Fantastic. Is mum proud of you being a chef? Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> blanched it, but it's not quite blanched enough. So it's going to be too coarse, so it's be quite fibrous when he blitzes it. Jamal, you have seven minutes left. You're doing well, chef. Garlic cream. You can make it many, many different ways, as long as we can taste the garlic. Nice idea putting shallots in. What's the end goal, Jamal? One day, I'd like to have my own star. I know it's very ambitious, but I think that's, that's, that's who I am. There's nothing wrong yeah. with that. If you don't aim high, then you won't, you won't get there. He's chopped the shallots and the garlic so well, he doesn't need to pass them out. Clever. Jamar, we've got to cook this fish. That could be a bit odder. I'm glad he took the fish out of the pan. Let the pan come up to temperature and put the fish in. Good, very good. Soften the spinach, cook the spinach and serve it on the side, right? Yes, that's correct. Look at that, wow. Beautiful colour. This kid knows what he's doing. Jamar, I like your style, my friend, but you've got a minute. Wait. All done? All done. Ugh. Yeah, you can breathe now. <laughs> breathe. You held your nerves very, very well there. Well done. Thank you very much. Filleting the John Dory, you didn't damage the fillets. And that was good to see. I like the way you scored the fish so that when you cook it, it leaves a nice pattern. The making of your parsley puree, not quite there. You know, we wanted a smooth, vibrant uh, green puree, so that parsley needs to really cook down. Saying that, the flavours of the dish are nice. I like the way you worked. Not a bad start. Good seasoning on your fish. Can pick up the garlic quite clearly in the cream. That's lovely. Not picking up a great deal of parsley. But all in all, for your first attempt here at a skills test, that's pretty good. I loved watching you back there. The way you cooked the fish in the pan and just finished it with a little butter, turned it just at the right time. That was a fantastic start. I can't wait to try your food. I hope it's as good as the skills that I've just watched. First to face Monica's skills test is Guillaume. Hi. Who trained in the Michelin starred kitchens of Paris and now runs his own restaurant in London. My life as a, as a chef is really exciting. Uh, as I'm a chef patron, I have the, all the liberties that I want in terms of creativity. No one is asking me to proper menu. I do whatever I like. I think I'm lucky to be honest. My cuisine is uh, minimalist but generous, and it's a base of French technique. I will not say that it's a French cuisine because I like to use uh, spices and also 
Thai and Chinese ingredients like seaweeds, soya sauce, and things like that. The lockdown affected us for the first month, and we had this month to think about a solution. So we decided to reopen as a little shop, working and supporting our supplier and all the farmers that we work with, and it is working quite well. Welcome to MasterChef. This skills test was set by Monica. Guillaume, I would like you to fillet the trout and smoke it and serve it with a celeriac remoulade. Yes, chef. You know sauce remoulade? Yeah. You worked a fish before? Yes, chef. Guillaume, you have 20 minutes. Off you go. He's starting to prep the fish. Nice cut in. Running the knife down the backbone. Good. OK, so he's put it over a bowl to expose the pin bones, which is not a bad idea, but he, he doesn't need to be careful that he doesn't break the flesh of the fish. So, Guillaume, you, you're, you're very familiar with what you're doing today? Uh, I'm familiar with fish, uh, but I never smoke trout. You've eaten smoked fish before, though, yeah, haven't I you? Did. So you know what you're looking for? Yeah. OK. Just going to put a bit of salt on top of the trout first. That's a lot of salt. He's doing what you would do if you were smoking salmon. Cure the fish, draw out all of the moisture, and then smoke it. That's interesting, but he hasn't got time to cure the fish. So what's next, Guillaume? <laughs> I'm going to start to do the remoulade. This you should have no problem with being a Frenchman. A celery at remoulade you can buy practically every supermarket in France. How long have you been in London, Guillaume? Four years. What brought you to the UK? I love big city and I love busy city. So I first moved in Paris and then I discovered London and I basically fall in love with the city, the vibe. So that's why I decided to move in London. You are halfway. Okay. Okay, so it's the salt coming off. You should have really just dried it first and possibly scored the skin. Yeah, tell me where, where your passion for food started. I have no proper answer to this question because I always wanted to be a chef. So since I'm five years old, seven years old, I was telling to people that I wanted to become a chef. It's like I, I born to be a chef. <laughs> Guillaume, yes. you have five minutes left. So you made a mayonnaise, a bit of lemon juice in there as well. Yeah. Capers, gherkins, and now some chopped chives? Yeah, exactly. He's doing so far, he's doing, he's doing okay. He's got good techniques all over the kitchen. He knows how to chop, he knows how to make mayonnaise. Chef, you've got a minute left. I've never seen that before. Yeah? <laughs> get you! He's got two spoons together, and he's using them as almost like a large fork to get a nice curl on the remoulade. How's the fish look? <laughs> Smoked. <laughs> <laughs> Time's up. Stop. All done. I'm smoked. Hello, Gil. Hello, Chef. That was good to watch. Nice to see that you, you knew how to work the smoker eventually. <laughs> Plate looks good. Thank you. The filleting of the, the trout, you knew what you were doing. I like you took the time to, to pin bone the, the fish fillet properly. The rinsing of, of the fish to remove the salt is right, but then pat it dry. 
And because it was so wet on here, it literally killed off the, the heat that you had built up in, in the smoker. No, the fish for me is lovely. I know it's, it's slightly under, but I, I quite like fish that way. You can taste the smoke through it. Celeriac remoulade, clearly, uh, you, you're familiar with this. It tastes great. Bravo, thank you. Thank you so much. Remoulade is lovely. I mean, you've obviously made one or two of those before. You've got sharpness in that mayonnaise. You've got lemon juice, you've got capers, gherkins, really good. Fish, in my opinion, was a little bit salty. Maybe you didn't get all the salt off. Kim, I thought that was a very, very good skills test. It's lovely and soft and it's beautifully seasoned. The remoulade is delicious, a lovely lemon zing running through it. Beautiful, beautiful piece of work. For your first time in the kitchen, you really do show professionalism in your working methods, your respect for the ingredients in front of you. So I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what you're going to do in the next round. Thank you, Chef. Great start. Very, very well done, Chef. We'll see you soon. Thank see you. you soon. Twenty-four-year-old Joe works at a modern British restaurant in London, where he was recently promoted to head chef. I'm a bit of a workaholic. I'm incredibly driven. I'm incredibly passionate about what I do. As my mum has said since a young age, I'm a, I'm a dog with a bone. I get an idea in my head and I'll, I definitely go all the way until I can get what I want and what I set out to achieve. But I wouldn't work 17 hours a day and five days a week if I wasn't driven. I go home, I think about new dishes, I'll sit in bed and I'll still be thinking about what can go on the menu next or what's coming into season. I'm kind of chomping at the bit to get going now. My recipes are ready, my ideas are ready. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to it, ready to get started. Right, Joe, I'd like you to prepare the scallops and cook them for us. Serve it with a romesco sauce and a marinated tomato salad. Sure. 20 minutes, off you go. You look like you've done that before. Uh, yes, yeah, so luckily I've uh, had scallops on most restaurants I've worked in, so that's uh, definitely a lucky coincidence. Joe's got the scallops out. He's kept them whole, tidy. What's the next job? Uh, so I'm going to start making the romesco sauce. Um, so I'm just going to start with the garlic, then I'm going to cook out some paprika in there, and then just add the sun-dried and the peppers. So you've, you've never made a romesco sauce? No, have no, but I, I do know that um, it contains almonds. You're cutting all the ingredients up because you're going to leave it chunky. Yeah. Joe's looking a bit worried. He's just a bit unsure of the sauce. I think he's going to cook it, and normally you just blend everything together. So where's the inspiration for, for cookery come from? It's almost something I fell into. So I'd worked in bars and restaurants before, but not in the kitchen. Then I showed an interest in what they were doing in the kitchen, and it just kind of went from there. No college training, you kind of learnt on the job, no, have you? Yeah, learnt on the job. What position do you, do you hold now? Um, so I'm actually head chef at the moment. You just ended up in a kitchen and worked your way all, all the way up to the top. Yeah. Six years. Six years. Six yeah. years. Wow. Wow. Joe, you are halfway. You've yeah. got ten minutes left. So a marinated tomato salad, how are you going to make that? Uh, so I'm going to add the tomatoes. I'm going to dress in some vinegar and some olive oil. The pan is hot, well done. What are the shells for? I'm going to serve it in the shells. Oh, yeah. You've got just three minutes, OK? Joe's clearly cooked scallops before. That's not you look, you can tell that the confidence he has cooking here, he's spending the time and care, keeping an eye on it.
Are you done, Chef? I am, yes. Joe, you haven't made a romesco sauce. You've made a flavour of a romesco sauce. You don't need to cook it. The only thing you need to do is toast the almonds. But the preparation of your scallops was absolutely spot on. Beautifully handled, very well taken out of the shell. You put up a fantastic plate of food. It tastes good, it's seasoned well. Yeah. Joe, it's not the sauce that we wanted. It was a cold sauce. But I can forgive that because You've handled the scallop beautifully. The cooking of it, spent some nice time looking after them. The tomato salad is, is nicely seasoned, is beautifully cut. And the way you presented it, you know, you've given some thought to it. That, chef, was a great start. I'm feeling good. As soon as I saw the scallops, uh, it kind of calmed me down. Um, and I at least knew that I could put a plate of food up.